Okay. Video number one. Coming in hot. Anyway, um, <clears throat> so I hope you guys enjoy this. I am going to do a pretty simple glue bed die. Um, it's one I did not too long ago, and I really like the way it came out because it it looked so good when it was flying. The last glue bed die, I'm still kind of a rookie, so the last glue bed die I did, I didn't put anywhere near enough glue in, and it was a bummer. So, <laughs> easy to find out too late and then not be able to do anything about it. So, um... <clears throat> Use plenty of glue in the frisbee. Just pop in a couple of air bubbles. I just use, <laughs> I don't have a creme brulee torch. I use my torchy torch. <clears throat> okay, so first I'm going to start with um, some black. I got my droppers here, just the cheap ones, got them on discdying.com, pretty awesome spot actually, looks like it's at least co-owned by Daddy Mac Dyes, and I have learned some things from him, um, he does phenomenal stuff, so I'm going to set up the few I'm going to use, I'm going to use warm colors, um, even though the red is pretty dark, but I'm going to use some warm colors, um, because I'm addicted to blue, and I think I do a little too much with the blues and the purples, so I'm going to try and stick with uh, a little something different. So I like to, again, I'm still a rookie, but I like to use, um, you know, get everything set up. Get the, I try to reuse the same droppers, you know, it's pretty clear which ones are which. Um, but I like to reuse the droppers and uh, that way, <clears throat> oh, just spilled a little dye, that's always fun. Okay, so, um, I mean, I know... I know a lot of guys seem to do it, but I really like to start off with kind of a line of black. So my design um, that I'm going to do is um, not a crescent moon, but a bit of a sweep, a little bit of a sweep on the black. And just have colors on one side and then kind of do a, a swipe around and actually not go this way. I'm going to go this way. When you put put the disc in, it inverts. Um, so the first time I did it, I didn't think about that. First time I did it, <clears throat> I had a sweep going this way. And what happened was, um, I mean, it still looked good, but it, 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 didn't, it didn't fly the way I wanted it to. So this time I got to remember go this way. Just tightening up the line. Totally okay with a little bit of like artifact on the outside there. I think it looks awesome. I mean, glue beds are great that way. They take on kind of an amoebus look to them. I think that's always cool. It makes sure that they're never two the same and you know gives it its own little character
Okay. Okay, give it that little bit of arc. It's gonna pull a little more as I shape this thing. So, all right, let's get some color in there. I'm gonna use red as the base. I will say this. <clears throat> I think that the eye dye, so I, right now I'm only using eye dye poly. Um, I know that, or at least I, it sounds like they do the best black, and um, <clears throat> I've had really good luck with all of them, except the yellows and the, and the oranges don't have much pop to them on a glue bed. Now, I do spins, obviously, we're on a turntable, um, and I do spins... Um, and with the spins, it's good because you can just keep, you know, keep going over it and kind of get it to wherever you want it to be. So I'm just doing some orange and yellow just to give a little depth here. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, the orange, um, the orange doesn't really, it doesn't really pop. It's a little bit muted, um, which is kind of a bummer. Um... And I've heard that, um, you know, and seen that Pro Chem, Pro Chem and Dye is the best for like kind of everything, but it's weird. I, and, and the thing is, is I live in Massachusetts, um, and I live really close to actually their, their, um, factory. I saw on there that it's, uh, that they're based in Fall River and that's really close to me. Um, like I can get there in like half an hour. So Maybe I'll do that, but, um, so I'm going to use a skewer, just a skewer, um, to give it something, you know, give it some texture. It's amazing how much the swirls just suddenly change everything, like immediately. Um... <clears throat> So I'm going to tighten this up a bit more. Obviously, I want to do a little bit more. But um, we're already getting there. This is a really basic um, design, but it looks so rad when it's flying. something kind of big I'm just using a sharpie to give it a, a bit of a fatter line to start and then I'll draw it out a little bit more with that skewer so um oh and I do um I haven't seen many people do it um but I actually draw a ring in the the frisbee outlining a disc so I know where exactly it's going to be so for something like this where the line is not precise, but it has to be sort of on the edge or near the edge, or at least at the same um, radius. Of course, you could just come in on this, but um, <clears throat> it's really helpful. I did a couple of designs where the whole layout had to fit right, and it, and it actually really helps. Um, so now I know I got to come in here, see? So um, let's see how this goes. That's a good start. I'm going to do that one or two more times. Go a little slower. Yeah, that's sweet. That's sweet. Okay, so I'm done with the Sharpie because I don't want to get too heavy on the uh, in the beginning there just kind of a wave I don't know 
I think this is a design that I'm probably going to want to do more often just because it, it is simple, but it looks, it really does look so rad when it's flying. So, um, uh, let's see. So I'm going to, there's a lot of not color, uh, in here. I don't want to mess with it too much, but I'm going to put a little bit of orange in her head. some luck if you if you go really close obviously not touching but if you get real up in there it can um help with the kind of explosion that happens if you're up higher it'll just it'll go bang and kind of just start exploding on you um <clears throat> and of course you don't want to mess with it too bad this is more of a filler situation than a design change thing you know um and i'll just kind of redo the swirls obviously i'm not going to leave it like this um and again um i am a rookie to this so if you guys have any tips tricks cringe moments where you're just thinking holy cow don't do that um by all means let me know because i am all about learning this game and know that i've got plenty of that learning to do oh actually that's kind of rad draw this right through Get my other paper towel I forgot about. There you go. Huh. Look at that. <laughs> like I said, I've got plenty to learn. And uh, I actually really dig that kind of wave pattern in. Kind of keeping with the name, I guess. I guess we'll call it the wave. I don't know. We'll see. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to tighten this up a little bit more. And i got to do something about that. I think I'm going to do a little bit of two birds, one stone. Hmm. Should I? I don't want to break the line here. I'll come in in the middle. I'll come in right here and just pull through once. Yeah, that's right. I like that. Wide open. But I like that. Yeah, I think I'm just going to tighten up the black a little bit. And call it good. <clears throat> I have a pretty sweet disc I'm going to use. It's, um, well, I'll show you in a sec. Let's see here. So I got this pretty sweet disc I found um, on Amazon of all places. If you just type in white bottom stamp Innova, um, not that I only do Innova, but the star plastic I've had really good luck with and everybody loves Innova discs. So um, I found this sweet max weight old school DX Wraith bottom stamp um, Wraith that, that um, I mean, the, the star plastic is so good for dyes. Actually, I think, honestly, I think Neo, the Discmania Neo plastic is might be the best. And I love that, just throwing that plastic, so it's great. But um, <clears throat> let's see, let me get those. Not too many bubbles, that's awesome. So here we go. 
anyway, um, yeah, on Amazon I found it. And I, they even had an option to do weight. Like, on Amazon I bought one or two discs before, but they were, um, I mean, don't get me wrong, I like to go local, which doesn't exist here really. But also, you know, I like to go to o OTB is the best because for anything you're going to throw, just because I've been, uh, I mean, perfect example, I've been waiting forever for um, one of the swirly ESP buzzes. I have one and I love it, but it's, I, I, after looking at other people's buzzes, mine is very flat and has a decent amount of flex to it. And uh, it was so great to be able to see. You know, I was looking for very flat and, you know, not stiff on their, uh, on their, on their list. And, um, I finally found one and it came in and it's exactly the same as the one I have. So OTB is awesome, but infinite discs and, you know, going to the, the factories, direct, all that stuff is great. So, but Amazon actually had, cause I could do a search like that, which some of the other ones don't and found a bottom stamp right. So anyway, here we go. Long, long story made longer. Um, so, obviously, we're not exactly centered on the ring per se, but well, actually, we kind of are, aren't we? So, nothing to line up here. So, I just want to make sure that this is decently into the. If, if some of it goes off, that's fine, but. And I want to be just slightly off center with this. I want it to be just a little bit extra. And everybody says do one side onto the other. I like to give it a decent little push down. And you know what? If it comes over a little bit, that's okay with me. This might be a big no-no, but I'm very much experimenting here. Get somewhat even, okay. Pull it up a little bit. Okay, there she goes. <clears throat> so, uh, actually, eh, I probably shouldn't have done that. Usually, I'll spin the bottoms. Um, well, whatever. It's a learning process, like I said. Video one, mistake one? Nah. 